my name is Nathan Cummins. Hi, my name is Jacob Lowry. And welcome to the CFI Showcase. During this program, we'll show you what it's like to be a student for the Center of Innovation. To begin, we will show you around our facility. Our school opened in August of 2015 and now has five programs of study that we offer. Upstairs, as you enter the building, you will see the Media Arts Commons and the Student Showcase. And just down the hall, we have the Main Commons as well as our Biomedical Sciences Program and our Conference Center. At the very end of the hallway, we have our Allied Health Sciences Program. Downstairs in the Commons area, you will find our Engineering Technology Program. We also have our Industrial Maintenance Program as well as our Labs. So let's not waste any more time. Here's a look at our Allied Health Sciences Program. Students in the Allied Health Sciences Program focus on developing skills and operating in the medical profession. If somebody were to have a seizure or, or she were to be choking or a heart attack, whatever, you'd be able to know what to do in that current situation. The program allows students to focus on the basics of nursing and applying these skills in hands-on activities, such as checking vitals, working in a professional medical environment, and working under pressure in the medical field. The major hands-on activity right now is um, CPR, and we're working with AED machines. The skills that students learn in this class influence their future careers. This also provides skills that can be used in their daily lives. We get to learn CPR, we get to learn first aid care, and we, we've also gotten to learn how to like intubate on the dummies that have the stimulations. This program differs from several science-based classes with giving students opportunities to work with state-of-the-art equipment while increasing their knowledge of the sciences. I guess it just gives me the basics of whenever I enter college, I know exactly if that's what I want to go into and it allows for me to be able to react faster and better than somebody who's not had this background would be able to. Allied Health Training provides students with opportunities to earn state and national certification for medical nurse aid, pharmacy technician, patient care technician, and other credentials such as CPR and first aid. Students who complete this program are granted admission to the Union College BSNRN program with the possibility of earning college credit. Allied Health Program differs from other science courses because it focuses more on human body systems, whether like normal sciences focus on the chemistry of things and how things work out in nature. And as for what students think about the CFI. Center for Innovation, you have a more broad spectrum of what you're wanting to do. Um, my favorite thing about the Center for Innovation is the social aspect and that everybody that's here wants to be here and they want to thrive whenever they get out of the hospital. Allied Health is one of our most popular programs here, but our next program is also very popular and also deals with the world of medicine. Let's take a look at our Biomedical Sciences program. The Biomedical program focuses on human physiology, basic biology, medicine, and research processes. We do a lot of dissection, such as like we dissect brains and eyes and hearts, and we also do like a lot of diagrams when presenting to the class. Biomedical can help students looking to major in nearly all branches of the medical field. As far as crime scene investigation, there's a million and one different careers you can go into, like toxicology and DNA examination. The skills they learn at CFI assist them in everyday life. Um, being a biomed it's really like taught me time management, you know, like when everything has to be done. First year students enjoy getting to use instruments in the lab that they would also use in real life scenarios. You a lot of things and you know see all that good stuff we do hearts brains eyes we, we make our posters present you know those who do decide to take this course can earn up to 12 credits with the university of the cumberlands students who successfully complete the program courses and training program can become eligible to sit for national certification as a pharmacy technician the knowledge learned in this program will help you go far in the medical field and get a head start on other competitors in their future careers the, the stuff we're doing in hot school is basically what we're going to be doing for the rest of our life and it gives us a uh, kind of a background of what it's going to be like now let's switch gears from the medical program to a high demand career field let's take a look at our engineering technology program Students in the engineering program provide a diverse training to prepare them for careers in the engineering profession. We work on math and science to create technology. We do a lot of robotics, um, computer coding, and we always start in um, the front of the classroom working on the computers and then we move to the back to apply it. 
The program features a wide variety of opportunities including VEX robotics, advanced math skills, sketching techniques, and how to draw designs on the computer using the computer-assisted drafting or CAD software called Autodesk Inventor. Uh, we do a lot with the robotics, especially here in the second year. Uh, we make cars that are powered by hydrogen and solar power, and it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's a lot of good hands-on stuff. The program also prepares students for life outside of school and helps them understand what skills to use in everyday situations. I would say that the work and the way that they do the work, you know, starting in the front and then moving to the back is a lot more like college and that will help me next year. Um, I think the most important things I've learned at CFI as far as just life in general is like the soft skills of like job opportunities and stuff and uh, just how to carry yourself professionally. I think that's something that's really focused on CFI and I think it will help in the future. Students in the program love the fact that they can get hands-on with the equipment. The studying techniques and the working together with people on projects, because in engineering you have to work together, you can't get it done. What we're working on is the uh, the marble sort of uh, project, and it's where you have to take uh, different types of marbles, which is like plastic, wood, metal, and assort those with an automatic machine, and it is very difficult, but it's also a lot of fun because every day I get to come in and solve a new problem. Sometimes it's annoying, but you know, that's real life, so it's a lot of fun. I love it. Students have the opportunity to earn up to 12 credits with the University of Cumberland for those preparing to pursue engineering at the University of Kentucky in a three-house partnership. Students also have the opportunity to earn up to 16 credits with Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College. Um, a lot of colleges recognize PLTW and give them college credit hours and at the end of this year you can get a certificate that will give you a certain amount of hours and that's new. They just created that this year. What do the students in engineering like about CFI? Uh, probably the social aspect that North and South get to do class together. I think that um, it creates a lot of unity and I just really like it. My favorite thing is probably the windows because I don't feel like I'm in a prison being held against my will. That's really nice. As you can see, students love what the CFI has to offer and all of the skills they can receive in their pursuit of excellence. I really like the people that are drawn to the CFI because we're all here for the same reasons that we get a good job and I just get along with those types of people. So the most fun experience I've had are social ones, definitely. That was a look at our designers, now let's take a look at our builders. Check out our industrial maintenance technology program. In our industrial maintenance technology program, students are taught skills to prepare them for career fields in manufacturing maintenance and electrical engineering. We got everything from electricians, plumbers, just maintenance technicians and factories and other manufacturing plants, anything to do with technical and industrial work. The program focuses on skills in wiring, motor controls, robotics, welding, and the principles of electrical technology. Students have access to welding tools and electrical trainers for wiring. Uh, we're using uh, uh, arc welders and stick welders. Uh, we, have, um, we have trainers, uh, electrical trainers that lets us wire up residentially and just kind of get a feel for the real world. All these skills will help students become industrial technicians and introduce them to a higher wage, higher demand career path. It teaches you skills that you need to go out into the real world and get a job in such places as manufacturing plants, factories, just everyday residential wiring work, becoming a plumber, electrician, stuff like that. Students have many opportunities to get hands-on during their lessons instead of only having to do book work. Right now, uh, actually right before the interview, we were welding. Students who participate in the IMT program at the CFI can earn up to 22 college credit hours for courses completed through an agreement with Southeast Kentucky Community and Technical College to earn the Associate of Applied Science degree. You can see for yourself what IMT students think about the CFI. Definitely learning all the electrical new stuff we learn every day. Every year of this program will boost students further into their future. I just got accepted to Southeastern about maybe two weeks ago. I plan to make the things I learned in this school my career, my everyday job. Finally, let's take a look at our newest program and the one that's produced in this video, Media Arts Technology. Students in the Media Arts Technology program focus on developing skills in creative digital media. The, the careers that we've learned about are various careers in the broadcast industry, from working on the, from news team positions who bring you local news, to other careers such as film and cinema editors, uh, we learn everything from editing to camera operation. The program's focus is on television and film production. However, students also gain skills in graphic design, photography, animation, and other forms of digital media. Students have access to cutting-edge media development tools. We have a number of cameras that are available. 
There are three main types. There are four iPods available for checkout for media students. Four news cameras, which are the typical camcorder style cameras that most new students will take on shoots with them. And there are some Panasonic GH4s. The skills the students are learning now don't just affect their career plans, but they also use them in their everyday life. How to operate a camera, to how to edit a film together, how to structure photos. This program teaches students the skills of operating a camera and of noticing just the world around you and how it can be brought forth and like shown to the rest of the world. Students love to get hands-on with the cameras and appreciate the ability to explore different careers. This program teaches students all about the process of filmmaking, the process of news production, and the process of video production in general. Noticing all the little things and about how I could set up this shot to make it look good and about how just like different focuses and different points of view on everything really look nice. Up to 12 hours of dual credit is available from Hazard Community and Technical College in the Media Arts program. This credit counts towards their associate's degree in visual arts. Students also have an opportunity to work towards Adobe Associate Certification in Premiere Pro or Photoshop. And as for what students think about the CFI? My favorite thing about the Center of Innovation is that it's not like a regular high school. You get a lot more freedom. There's a lot of different things that go on. The thing about the Center of Innovation is probably just the people and being around so many different people from different areas and from different, another school also. The best thing about CFI is having a location here in Laurel County where you can try things. There's five programs here right now, and it's the option to try something before you have to lock in a major at college. It's clear to see that here at the Center for Innovation, our students have the courage and drive to strive high. I plan to use what I have learned here in order to like, go and create my own media. Now you've seen a little bit what we do here at the CFI. We hope you enjoyed your time with us, and we hope to see you at the Center for Innovation.